Hey GeoVoxers, this is Rampa. This tutorial is going to demonstrate how to cut a flat area where you would put a building or even a town as we can cut flat large areas now with GeoVox. Let me show you a couple new things in the new build. First up here in the brush, um, we have much larger size. I can take the brush all the way up to 50. Also, over here in the right corner, um, the smoothing functions have been improved for separate smoothing for add, dig, replace, and cut paint. Now, when we build a big flat area, we don't want our brush to sink down into the earth as it normally would. Um, this is how you will normally see your brush when you're in GeoVox and I don't want my flat area to be cutting down. I want it to be kind of at the surface of my meadow here, but chopping everything flat. So I do need to use the Use Brush Base checkbox. What that does is it uses the bottom of the brush and with without digging down in. So it's kind of like almost having a tamper rather than a brush in this case when I'm going to cut with it. So I'm going to expand my box out here. Um, I have my dig smooth is set to 10. That's going to give me a nice beveled edge. I'm going to make my box fairly large. And you'll notice the box is kind of hovering over the terrain. It kind of depends where I put my mouse as the height it's going to go. So if I have my mouse you know, at a very low spot in the terrain, it will be cutting a little deeper. But um, if I'm up a little bit more, it won't be cutting so deep. I'm going to cut about this deep here. So hold down shift and left mouse button to cut or dig. When it's a little larger, it takes a little longer to cut, especially when it has the extra smoothing on it. And there we go. We have our cut. Now I'm shrink my um, brush down so we can go see the cut we did. I'm going to zoom in here so we can have a look at it. I have a nice flat area, um, blended very nicely with the terrain. It didn't dig a big hole all around because of the base brush, but it did dig back into the mountain to have an absolutely level terrain. And the bevel here um, that you see is from the, the smoothing factor, the dig smooth. And we can also do a sharper cut if we want. Let me bring the dig smooth back down. Let me undo this. You can use Control Z or there is an undo under the um, edit menu now. So um, I like to use Control Z myself. Undo it back to where we started. You'll notice I had to hit Control Z twice. There's actually two operations that occur to do that cut and that's why I had to do it twice. So um, that's something you'll just get used to doing in GeoVox. It will undo properly. You just have to do it twice. We may look into um, how to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and use a bigger brush again. I have my brush set to use brush base. I have dig smooth set to zero this time. I'm going to make it a little bigger again to approximate about what I was. And I think I was about right here for depth. And then I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to cut again. Okay, so this time when we go in and look at it, it should be cut a little sharper. It looks a little sharper to me. It's not going to be um, an incredibly sharp cut, especially I think it might change a little bit when you use uh, the larger brush size as well. And that is because it's a smooth voxel engine. So there's an automatic smoothing algorithm going on. So it doesn't look like a Minecraft game. So I hope that was helpful. And I hope you are able to build amazing new locales in GeoVox. Thank you.